you today. Nothing's wrong, bro! I got the joy! The joy? You bet I do! How can you get the joy? We had another pop quiz at school. Yep, we did! We were out first in dodgeball. We Again. sure we have to go to the doctor's office later you, today. You bet we do! And get a flu shot. Woo! That's gonna hurt! And to top it off, I dropped my banana on the floor and my dad stepped on it. Doesn't matter, Harvey! I still got the joy! And why is that? Should have known. Oh, hey fellow Vikings, it's Herbert. For the last four weeks, we've been talking about how to train our emotions. And as you can see, mine have come a long, long way. I got the joy, baby! My emotions used to be overwhelmed by anger, fear, and sadness. But I've learned to focus on Jesus and Jesus replaces those emotions with joy! That's right. Joy, joy. Joy is more than a feeling. It's knowing that no matter what happens, God loves us. He's in control. And He will always be by our side. Yep! Right here next to me, baby! I hope these training sessions have helped you. They certainly helped me and my emotion. And me! I got joy! Come on, buddy. Time for the doctor's office. Woo! I hope I get a prize from the toy box! That's the dentist. Can we go see him too? No. Train Your Dragon series has been full of emotions. We've seen fear, we've seen anger, we've seen sadness, and at the end, like with any good children's story, all of the negative emotions become a happy ending. And things turned out the best for Hiccup and Toothless and the Vikings and the dragons. And there were many ups and downs in the story and many challenges to overcome, but in the end, all's well that ends well. We've talked about taming our emotions. We've addressed the difficulty of dealing with our anger, the crippling power that fear can have, the overwhelming power of sadness on our lives. And in every one of our lessons, our solution has always come back to our faith in God. When we remember our blessings, we can overcome our, can our anger. When we count the things that we're grateful for, it helps us to get over our angry feelings. When we're afraid, we can remember that God is in control and we know that he'll protect us when there's storms that come into our life. And when we're sad, we can remember God's love. We can find comfort in his love and know that God is with us and he'll carry us through those sad times. God's love and grace can replace those emotions with joy. Even in the worst of times and in the worst of places, God can fill our hearts with joy. Today's Bible story takes place in, the, in a prison cell in the dead of night. There were two wrongfully accused missionaries, and not only were they able to find joy, but they shared that joy with others. Today's Bible story comes from Acts 16. The judges ordered that Paul and Silas be beaten and thrown into prison. The jailer was commanded to guard them, and when he received his orders, he put Paul and Silas deep inside the prison, and he fastened their feet with chains so they couldn't get away. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying. They were also singing hymns and praises to God. The other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was a powerful earthquake. It shook the prison from the top to the bottom, and all at once, the prison doors flew open. Everybody's chains came loose. The jailer woke up, 
he saw that the prison doors were open. He pulled out his sword and was going to kill himself. He thought the prisoners had escaped. Don't harm yourself, Paul shouted. We're all still here. The jailer called out for some lights. He rushed in, shaking with fear. He fell to the ground in front of Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out. out. He asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Paul and Silas were thrown into prison for setting a girl free of demons. They had done something good through the power of God and they were being punished for it. They had every right to feel angry, afraid, sad. Yet Paul and Silas were joyful. They led prisoners in singing hymns, and when God heard their hymns of praise, he shook the walls of the prison and they fell down. Emotions are how we experience life. Some emotions are positive and some are negative. But all of our emotions are a part of being human, even anger and fear and sadness. But if we let those negative emotions run unchecked, they can bring us down and get us into trouble. Jesus wants to help us tame our emotions. He wants us to allow the Holy Spirit to lift us up when we're sad. He wants us to rely on the prayer and the Bible when we need courage. He wants us to have peace when we are feeling troubled. He wants to fill our hearts with joy even in bad times. If you're struggling with your emotions, take heart. You're not alone. It takes a lifetime to learn, learn to rely on God. Day by day, one emotion at a time, one prayer at a time, God will help us transform our emotions from fear, anger, sadness into joy. Jesus came to give us a new life and to give us joy. If we focus on God, we can have that joy no matter what happens in life. Let's thank God for Jesus and let's thank him and ask him to fill our hearts with joy. Hey Kid City, this was our last lesson on emotions today and I hope you guys all learned something from this entire emotions series. All right, it's time to pray. Dear God, thank you for all our Kid City families that have watched these videos and thank you that we get to share these videos with them. Please help them to have all learned something from this emotion lesson that we've been going through these past few weeks and help us all to control our emotions. In Jesus name. Amen. All right. Bye Kid City. This fall. Okay, Bob, we're gonna go to Steamy Stacks. Okay. Uh oh, I think there's bad guys here, Jack. I don't have a gun! Jesse! Ah! I need your help! Jesse! I'm dead! Bob, I think your headphones are too loud. Oh, they're not plugged in. I just like yelling. 